All right, so in this problem, I have 25 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 20. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 25 to the power of x as 5 squared to the power of x. So I simply just substituted in 5 squared for 25. And I have this plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 20. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of n, meaning I can switch these two exponents. So this is the same thing as 5 to the power of x to the power of 2. And I have this plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 20. Now I'm going to let 5 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute in y for 5 to the power of x, I get y squared plus y is equal to 20. And now I'm going to simply subtract 20 on both sides. So when these two cancel out and I get y squared plus y minus 20 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite y here as 5y minus 4y. And I'm going to factor this by grouping. So first from y squared plus 5y, I can factor out y, so I get y times y plus 5. And from negative 4y minus 20, I can factor out negative 4. So I get negative 4 times y plus 5. Now if I factor out y plus 5 from this, I get y plus 5 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. Meaning y is equal to negative 5 and y is equal to 4. Now remember how we said that 5 to the power of x is equal to y. So to start, we have 5 to the power of x is equal to negative 5. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it negative, so this is wrong. Now for y equals 4, we get 5 to the power of x is equal to 4. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 4. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 5 is equal to log 4. Now if I divide both sides by log 5, These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 4 over log 5. All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. So to start, I'm going to first rewrite 8 here as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. And I can actually switch the places of the 3 and the x. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 68. Now, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to variable y. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 68. And if I subtract 68 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 68 is equal to 0. Now, 68 I can rewrite as negative 64 minus 4. And now I'm going to reverse, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to change the order to y to the power of 3 minus 64 plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, 64 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3. So I have y to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. 
So in this case, this can equal y minus 4 times y squared plus 16 plus 4y plus y minus 4. And now if I factor out y minus 4, I get y minus 4 times y squared plus 16 plus 4y plus 1. And this is equal to y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 4 equals 0, meaning y equals 4. And I also have y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. And if you end up using the quadratic formula and solving this, you get the square root of a negative number. And you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is wrong. And y equals 4 is my only solution. Now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal y. So now we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. And 2 to the power of what equals 4? 2. So I get x is equal to 2, and this is my solution. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the natural log, or ln, on both sides. So now I have ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of 4 to the power of x plus 16. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So now I have b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. And for here, 11 4 to the, 11, ln 4 to the power of x plus 16, I can move x plus 16 to the front. So now I have x times ln x is equal to x plus 16 times ln 4. Now if I distribute the ln 4, I get x times ln x is equal to x ln 4 plus 16 times ln 4. Now I'm going to subtract L x ln 4, so now I have x ln x minus x ln 4 is equal to 16 ln 4. And now if I factor out x from here, I get x times ln x minus ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. Now ln x minus ln 4, that's the same thing as ln of x over 4. And now if I divide both sides by 4, I get x over 4 times ln x over 4 is equal to 4 times ln 4. And notice how I have something in the form something times ln of that same thing is equal to 4 times ln of 4, meaning x over 4 is equal to 4, and x is equal to 16. So now to check, my original equation was x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 16. So if x equals 16, I have 16 to the power of 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 32. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 16 is equal to 2 squared to the power of 32, which is 2 to the power of 64 is equal to 2 to the power of 64. 